delicious. <laughs> isn't, isn't life just delicious? Life couldn't be girls. Hi. <laughs> girls, life could not be more delicious. I Life could not be more delicious. Everybody now. Life, life could not be, be more, more del- delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm Zach. That's Gabby. Hi. It's a big day today, I gotta say. You wanna know why? You wanna know you why? You wanna know? You're fucking begging to know why. Because we're recording the fuzz, this fucking podcast. We're recording the podcast, and also, to be clear, just not to get your hopes up, not to not get your hopes up, Lizzie is not here. So if you hear that rep stallion energy in us today... <laughs> it's that... because we're, we're unwatched wild animals today. We got down here, Lizzie's not here, and we both looked at each other like... <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we're doing something wrong. Um, I, I feel like we're in trouble. I feel like we're in trouble, or we're kind of throwing... This is an anti episode episode this is episode negative one so okay true. <laughs> hell yeah guys okay Bef- this is the podcast it, get in the mix if get you know it you know it if you don't know get in the know okay <laughs> if you don't know that this is the podcast how'd you get here how'd you get here click on something else i'm kidding no stay 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 stay. Oh, stay. Stay. <laughs> stay a while stay a while kick your feet up stay a while kick your feet up take your shoes off shoes out shoes shoes those are outside shoes do not you judge my- here's my question what? right off the fucking bat hit me <laughs> <laughs> Do you judge people who make you take off? Yes. <laughs> I, I knew you would say yes, but let me get it out for the viewers. We can't do a psychic app where, we, <laughs> where we don't say anything. Tune in for a psychic app. You just hear us <laughs> like nothing and we just every so often we're like. <laughs> <laughs> do you judge people who make you take off your shoes when you go in their apartment? Question. Question. Um, Do you judge people? Do you? Um, yeah, I kind of think that it's rude in the modern day. I, think I agree. If if we are at a house, that's different. We're New Yorkers in the city. We're city folk. Okay, we're walking, we're stomping. Everything is covered in a little film of rat. You know yeah, what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that. Remember so, that. Take that into account. So, like, I guess I just made a point to yes, we should take off our shoes. I know, but here's my issue with it. Yeah. I don't want to see anyone's feet. Never. I don't want to see your socks. I don't want to see the state that men's socks are in. That's a secret. That's a secret for a reason. That is just us. The, every boy leaves home at a certain age and his mom like um, ties him in like a handkerchief and whispers like, never show <laughs> what your socks actually look like. She packs three <laughs> socks and they keep them till they die. I don't want White socks are just such an insane thing to start with. Like we're like white socks. White like, socks. No. I'm a mucky little boy white socks. Here's a Nick. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Here's an ick. When a guy takes off his shoes and there's a hole where the toe is coming out. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. Well, at least we don't do toe rings. Okay, yeah. It's a, it's an us versus them attack <laughs> episode. Uh-oh. It's suddenly an us versus them attack. No. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen me in a toe ring? You talk about it all the time. So maybe I'm just... You've psychically implanted that in my head. No, only... Like um, Gen X women wear toe rings. That's not our generation. It just feels so claustrophobic to me, my little toes. Um, <laughs> my little toes, first off. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, it, if. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I just. This is a psychic up today. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get something off my chest. Same. Okay. I, I'm boiling hot. <laughs> okay. But I need to get something off my chest to, to properly begin this episode. I've had a song stuck in my head. And can you guess the song? Can you guess the song? It's like kind of a commercial. It's a commercial jingle. I don't know if this is, says more about you or more about me. But in my You're mind, it, it was like, <laughs> row, row, row your boat. But it's, it's clearly not that. It's it's Think more retro beach party. The best part of waking up is full just in your cup. Was it that? She had a... It's a teeny weeny yellow, yellow polka dot bikini, bikini that she wore for the first time today. Uh-huh. Like, that's what, what I am thinking. What was that a commercial for? The energy. Okay. <laughs> the, let, me, and, uh, let me correct myself. The synergy <laughs> that happens in my heart and yours and the soul of Earth yeah, it goes all the way there. When it that goes. song plays, okay, that's the podcast, baby. That is that the podcast. Is the, this, like, what was that a commercial for? I don't, I think like Yoker. It must have been like that. A lot of songs that have nothing to do with anything are, are commercials yo- for yogurt. Have you noticed <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah. Well, what is it like? Um, It's weight loss, right? Like she, this girl is like no, finally brave enough to wear the itsy bitsy polka dot bikini, yellow polka dot bikini. That's dark. 
I mean, isn't that what it, it is? <laughs> That's way darker than I. I it's like an early 2000s. I was going ad. razors in my head. Oh no! It was early two thousands. They were like, they were. They were like, she's not fat anymore. <laughs> Look at her, Cheer. bravely naked, and everyone can finally be happy. <laughs> Look at all these guys, and they want to fuck her now. Isn't yeah. that it? Itsy bitsy bikini. Um, um, I think you and me next Halloween should be itsy bitsy. Yellow polka dot bikini. Yeah, or you should just do that. You should do that for you. That's that could be your life, guys. This is the podcast. Does it sound like there's no one in the world here because Lizzie's not here? There is it. There's an emptiness to the room, and I really miss her. But I, I think we can like audibly. She's fine, by the way. She's fine. She has COVID. No, she doesn't. No, she That's doesn't. Fake news. That's fake news. But <clears throat> she is pregnant. But she is pregnant with, <laughs> with a kid who has COVID. <laughs> oh, yikes. Um. So we no, wa- wait. But I want to go back to. I want to go back. Your pending question. My pending question. <laughs> the shoes. So I understand why people do that. Mm. But you're going to ask me, a New Yorker, who has styled this outfit with rhyme and with reason, you're going to ask me to take off my shoes, a integral part of the look. Yeah. To what? And you're going to say it's to cl- for your home being clean? That's not a home. We're in New York City. <laughs> That's three rooms. <laughs> no That's two no smaller rooms here. and one big room. That's not a home. I think everything, every apartment in New York is considered a hostel. <laughs> you know, <even laughs> totally. If you've That's lived another there for 20 ick. years. That's another ick if you call your apartment a home. Yeah. <laughs> That's an ick. <laughs> We've said that about our home together that we shared. Our home, but we don't even, but it's different. It's different because we, it was us. So uh, it doesn't so matter. It was about us. <laughs> it's us because rules don't apply to us. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Yeah, but we created a home. We that is different. We created a home. If Other there's people two could floors, never. Does that make sense? Exactly. And our apartment had two floors, and that makes it a home. That does separate bathrooms. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for Gabrielle's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I almost drowned in that bathtub so many times. In our uh, in our home, I lived. Wait, in the- you flipped the script completely. In our home, <laughs> in our home. In shoes our house- off. <laughs> in our shoes off home. Shoes off. I lived in a. a- wall-to-wall carpeted basement that had no door the only way to get out was from through which is so me by the way through a spiral staircase (laughs) going straight up going straight up that's the only way i could get out that went into our living room so when anyone was in there they were also in my bed (laughs) zach would be cooking breakfast in the morning and i would talk to him from in my sheets laying underneath face down (laughs) in the bed um you did have a window one window but i would describe it as like um dungeon (laughs) dungeon core like it was like a window into the dirt but then gabby's room in this room you this op- is why i chose the room there's a rhyme and there's a reason because why again. would I, when you see the upstairs room you're like this is so gorgeous like why does Zach get this that was the yeah. red that was the red flag of the house they were yeah. like what did zach do? <laughs> yeah. to do what is he holding over her head and then you went into my carpeted basement revenge porn revenge <laughs> <laughs> you put a you put a ring camera in my room <laughs> Oh Give God! Give me the room, or else. <laughs> or I'm releasing this <laughs> <laughs> on an iPad. Zach, Zach. I swipe the iPad. I'm like, bitch, it's in the cloud. Do what I say now. <laughs> Do what I say now. <laughs> so, girlies, if your roommate has a cool room, hide a ring camera in their snake plant. Links below for super cheap ring light cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but in in my basement, you would go you would go down there, and it was nice. Don't get me wrong; it was yeah, yeah. nice. And then you would go into my bathroom, which was a full, giant bathroom, obsidian black. All of the walls were mirrors. <laughs> it was it was a cocaine sex bathroom. It was a cocaine sex zone. But I would I wouldn't even call that a bathroom. I would call it a zone. It was, and then and then it had a full sized jacuzzi tub and guys i know this broad likes to exaggerate <laughs> this tub was massive it was huge i, I could three I could people be, in that tub once. i could be fully submerged yeah in, in like a little fetal position so i got I, my ass ate in that tub it was electric yeah <laughs> i've had a lot of sex in that tub you know what i'm saying yeah um just in case the kid's listening i just want to spell it oh i said you ate my ass but i, I mean like i got like a burger <laughs> like a bur- <laughs> Wait, I was with my little niece this this um, weekend, and I kept like trying to be funny, but I had to spell it. So I'd be like, "You're being such a p u s s y, like spelling pussy." Is so be, she's like pussy. Oh, <laughs> pussy. Oh. Oh fuck. Why'd you learn how to read? Um, 
Um, yeah, a full jacuzzi tub that all of us would have sex in, but and cl- and clean it after. Um, yeah. but I would yeah, go. Yes, 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 we would. Yeah, yes. we would <laughs> every time, every single time. Um, but I would go in that jacuzzi tub every single night because it was COVID and depression. And um, I would we would get hammered drunk all the time, and then I would get in the tub. <laughs> hammered drunk and I would fall asleep often and wake up to my nose being like <laughs> 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 I could oh, have died there's like no way I could have convinced the, the police officers that, that it I, wasn't you you know what I mean like I would be in jail so like you were fucking you were fighting with my life right there okay? yeah you were playing with fire water <laughs> fire water okay hi hi this hey. is the podcast this is the podcast I want everyone to know what what happens here is Stays business. Here. <laughs> <laughs> is business. I was thinking of changing our description on Spotify. Spotify Premium. To if you what? have it, shout if out. If you have it. If you don't have it, literally what? Literally what? Or Apple Podcasts, which is chill. Which is chill. You know what I mean? Uh, and and on, while we're on the subject, I want to make sure you guys are like leaving reviews. Because there's a lot of you listening. And then there's like 13 reviews, which is an attack against us personally. And we're noticing. We're starting to... We're starting... You know, we are starting to take it personally i'll say um, i'll say it i'll say it <laughs> i feel like we are um not good enough <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we're only good enough to to listen and you're not going to tell us how you really feel which has to be nice guys i want likes i want engagement i want collabs okay guys i want you i <laughs> yeah like, reach out we'll collab with you <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you up to <laughs> are you a nurse we'll collab with you Hey guys, we're doing a, a smash a smash up video with you us and Nurse it. Michael. <laughs> get the jab with Nurse Michael. <laughs> they give people COVID shots while we riff. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes. So leave a review. Go. What were you saying? Um. I forgot what I was gonna say except for I just remembered. Thank cool. you very much. Um. So I was thinking that this is like our personal diary. That's now everybody's business. Yeah. That's what I was sort of thinking of changing it. Um. I want to fight against that because i think our description guys if you've never read our description it's literally so funny i don't want to change it and i believe women and i believe (laughs) that you don't want to change it (laughs) (laughs) what are you serving i am serving you electricity which i've served before but this time it's different yeah this time it's like you know, like a post. There's so many shades of a color. I know. You know, you could be electricity in so many different ways. There's different. There's. D- <sighs> Where do I begin? So you know, like um, what's it called? When a big space does all the electricity. <laughs> a galaxy. Wait. A, no, I'm not even. A close. big space does a like, lot of know, electricity, like a yeah, battery. Like no, what? like the place where it. The power plant. Power plant. Yes. <laughs> you so so badly did you describe <laughs> what that was. You know what a big place does electricity? Yeah. yeah. It does it good. It <laughs> does it well. It does it good. Okay. They do it well for work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serving you a power plant mm. run by girls. <laughs> okay? Which I can't imagine one woman works in one power plant That's anywhere. never happened. Unless it was in like marketing i mean do they have like a social media person who's like yeah she's like oh welcome to the power plant this is how we turn your lights on hey george (laughs) (laughs) i'm serving you a power plant run by women Mm. i mean electricity is barely leaving that joint because they are bringing all their devices and they are (laughs) plugging them in straight to the swords curlers straighteners more curlers only girls can can short circuit a power plant with the amount of straighteners curlers crimpers hair hair uh blowers um are you a girl (laughs) (laughs) i'm I'm ai trying to speak like a girl (laughs) There's iPads plugged in. Like There's Pelotons be- plugged in. There's iPhones plugged in. They're charging small. in portable chargers. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like they're like might as well just in case. You never know when you're gonna go somewhere. You never know <laughs> when you're gonna have to go on a trip. So they're 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 kind of doing double damage on every single device. Yes, and I mean the, the amount of electricity going into all of their devices and not into the out. Put you know. Zone. Now, not into the neighborhood in which that's supposed to source their electricity. Rolling blackouts. Rolling <laughs> blackouts. People are dying of heat stroke yeah. instead of summer, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you got to charge your, charge your iPad, so I get well, it. the AC is on blast. Blast at that, at that power point. It is on blast. I just, All of them are like, <laughs> but they like to shiver, so they keep it on blast. They have you sweaters know? on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pulled up over their hands. <laughs> 
Uh, hmm. yeah. You want to watch? Um, <laughs> you want to watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> I have a projector. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my projector to charge. <laughs> Um, I'm serving you that. Yeah. What that means? Women over consuming. <laughs> over consumption of devices by women specifically. Okay. I don't know what that says about my life right now, but I don't, I don't think we know yet. I don't think we need to investigate. I surely could easily investigate that. I think it's pretty easy. What do you think it is? Maybe you think you are using too much. <laughs> <laughs> In what way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're using too much stuff. And then that is like making you subconsciously feel bad. Mm. But that couldn't possibly nah. be anything like that. <laughs> nah, nah, no. No. No, fuck you. Uh, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You don't know anything about me. You don't me. know me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know me. I just actually. You're a piece of You're a fucking piece of shit and you don't know me. I am serving you. A sea of cherries, mm. rolling Whoa. waves of cherries that That's are crashing delicious. on the store shore. And um, you're at the beach and you're like, want to go for a dip? And it like hurts bad. Yeah. But like it looks awesome. Like what's blood, what's juice of a straw? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, take a picture of me. And you're kind of, you know, like, you know that picture where a girl's like squatting kind of, but like all the way down on her knees in a bikini on the beach. Yeah. And the, and the waves are like. It's been done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rushing over her. It's that, but cherries are just nailing her in the face. Pop, 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 pop. But it looks awesome. That's awesome. What are you serving? Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Guys. Lizzie I... texts us and I'm like scared to look at it. <laughs> you guys are oh, doing no. it wrong. You guys are doing <laughs> she, it she wrong. Bugged, she bugged the room. It's about something else. I am serving you. Imagine this. You're normal sized. Okay. okay. I am serving you the, a microscopic molecular super tiny tea party oh fuck <laughs> a little bit of tea oh fuck <laughs> and like that tea pot is so small and then you see the little cups and you're like I thought it couldn't get, get smaller, smaller. <laughs> and, and then, then I saw the little <laughs> cups <laughs> there's no way more than a drop can fit in there not even a little drop what is this tea for a spider <sighs> you see the tiniest with friends <laughs> okay. the party comes a party goes okay. yeah as 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 is life as is life but microscopic super cute yeah <laughs> tiny shit rocks i went to the tiny museum once with this little girl who i babysit you do every okay i'm out again you do <laughs> everything with this girl, with this girl. <laughs> fuck this girl literally fuck this girl <laughs> you're gonna go to the tiny museum with her <laughs> who's gonna like it more me or her she was into it and i <laughs> i was way more into it you would have loved it oh my god the little onions I, they made a little kitchen it was crazy um i love little tiny shit and that's why i'm serving you i'm serving you that beauty can be found within an instant instead of an atom okay it's all around guys that's what i'm serving you beauty forever and all around i'm serving you seaweed oh yes I'm serving you that seaweed that has those little bulbs that pop and it's gross. I love those. Those would touch me as a child in the ocean and I would go. <laughs> <laughs> I would, uh, it would be absolutely. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> I'm actually serving you the gross nature of the ocean. I kind of don't like it. Oh, I'm against you. I like waves and the beach. <laughs> I like, yeah. The I like waves and, and the, the beach. beach. Okay, pina coladas for sure. But I don't like like the undertow kind of like gross undertide stuff, like the jellyfish. Jellyfish? The jellyfish we know that are just zap you a little bit and go mm. on their way are fine. When you go into the greater ocean... In tropical places, those <laughs> which I know I've been many you, times. Which you know, <laughs> I'm familiar with because I've been many times. And um, there's like the man of war um, jellyfish that are like really like six feet long tendrils, and they could just kill the hell out if of they, you if with you one little. Hit, you're you're dead. You're yeah. just dead. I'm or like... you're covered in squiggly scars, which is cool in a way. Yeah, it's almost like if a... you're a guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I was about to fight for it. Um, 
No, I agree. I so I hate jellyfish. I once saw this guy get like stung by a really big one in Florida when I was a kid. And it, it was on his face, like, right? It was, yeah, like it was fucked up. And I was like, oh my god, it's just goo that attacks you. Yeah, fucked up. It is crazy. It's flubber gone bad. It's flubber gone real bad. Okay? Flubber gone to jail. Okay, I am serving you. Lastly, okay, I am at Equine Sports. Equine. Equine Sports. Equine. Equine. Equine Sports. Horses. A bunch of horses. They're all mine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I have so many ponies, stallions, the the, the, <laughs> the <lot>. works. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! I have all of them. Um, what are you gonna do with them? Um, I brush their hair, the little <laughs> tufts of hair. <laughs> I sometimes we jump over uh, like a tiny little <laughs> fence kind of thing. I really just give them salt licks. It's honest work. It's honest work. I you know what that. I'm serving you to kind of jump off of that? I'm serving you the designer, the carpenter who makes all the extravagant little jumps for horses. That, and it's it's a job. It's a we good, don't good job. We talk about the artisan. Well, we've we've that does gotten that. into horse. I still think the whole thing about horse is fucked up. I think it's so, hear me out, random. <laughs> because like we have cars, trucks, bikes, skateboards, trains, subways. Mm. You know, we have a bunch of stuff that will get you into another place. And you're going to have the gall to like ride a horse still like we don't need that anymore let them go let them go and let them that, go. that outfit it's like frumpy I like it's I like, like it's... the outfit that's the one thing oh i kind of find that the tight tight pants and the high high boots and the little button up shirt the hat just looks hilarious i mean the hat is a helmet uh, and um <laughs> <laughs> wait 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 what um if lizzie was here she'd be mad we are t- so totally off topic uh-huh. <laughs> we have to talk about the main event. It's so hard without Lizzie. It's we used to so do this podcast for so long without Lizzie. And you could tell. And now, like, it's like we can't do it. <laughs> we can't. We don't. We just don't remember how. You're right. We're 20 minutes we're in. We're 20 okay. minutes in. What okay. we, we said nothing. We said we've said and nothing. nothing. Okay, this is what we have to talk about today, which we promised to talk about a last episode, but then we talked about Pepsi the entire time. Yeah, so so sorry. So we're so so sorry. So so sorry. Today we're talking about Meghan Markle and Harry. Whatever his last Markle. name is, Markle. <laughs> Markle. Megan and Harry Markle. We're, we're talking about Mr. and Mrs. Markle today and their fall from grace. Now, if you're a fan of this podcast, you know that we've been on Megan's side from day one, and we're and that's we're getting a little shaky. It's complicated. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> I would say our our relationship with her is complicated. Yeah, I would say that she is keeps we're, revealing herself to being more and more insufferable. Yeah, I think that she did a she was serving herself well with being not not doing a lot of public appearances well she was doing i mean like speaking too much you can have like a little interview but now that you were kind of just like oh it's like all right eight eight she was really good at speeches and what we forget about um public figures is that they don't write their speeches we always think obama wrote that speech yeah of course obama wrote that speech it's in his voice he's doing it right now no he has speech writers, no offense to Obama and his team, but like Megan had all those speeches about women's empower- empowerment and you know, whatever that means and like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> whatever and that means. Whatever that means. Fully a woman. <laughs> fully, fully a woman. Yeah. But when people talk about it, it's like, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Say something I haven't heard. Say, say something Barbie hasn't already said on her box. Better. Okay. Oh my God. Barbie. Oh I know. I can't. We can't. We can't. It's okay, not time yet. Right. I almost jump jump ship. I, I know. I hate this, but I have something to say about Megan. Go. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. When she was doing her speeches that were written beautifully written by people. Yeah, we liked her. Yeah, when she was in that boat neck. Yeah, we liked her. But then she went off the fucking rails. And you know why? You know the moment I started hating her is when she cried in her Hermes blanket in her documentary. And I just can't let that go. I would say that she has that kind of attitude that's insufferable, and I feel like you it wasn't noticeable, and now we see her too much. Go into and that. Like, she, the way, it's just so, cal- like, the way she calculated. speaks is calculated, and it's not, like, calculated, it's just, like, a very, like, not genuine. Like, she's not like, hey, guys, and, like, do that. Yeah. She's, it's too, like, like, won't see you not, like, messed up at all, won't see you ever not composed. Yes. It's like, girl, 
on that podcast, I wanted you to be like, I'm, I've got period farts. Or something. <laughs> period farts. <laughs> like, I, I was wa- by in college. I was by in college. I blew a guy, so I blew Harry first day. Yeah. <laughs> I blew him first day. Right? Paris I Hilton. Wa- she interviewed Paris Hilton. I, hey, come on. I need. You're a- not going to talk about blowjobs and pussy stuff? I need way more from you. I'm Okay, we get it. Like, okay. Okay, wait, you're not like an ambassador anymore. You left the family. So take that fame and do the American dream and that has become a trashy reality star. Exactly. Exa- follow that. Show Harry the way. Okay, show that fucking hot mongoloid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Show that. Lizzie, bleep that. <laughs> show that hot goddamn weird looking guy. Okay. <laughs> show him the way of the American culture. Uh, here, Even though you're Canadian. Fuck exactly. You. And you know, she's, it's all, you're starting to understand where I thought it was genuine. That was the thing. I thought it was genuine that this, they fell in love. They looked so, in, I mean, they're in love. They're yeah. clearly in love. And that was what we focused on. I but almost then, just turned it. I'm so, I sway with the wind. Jesus Christ. I know. The fact that you're like, we don't like her anymore. I go, and that's because I'm, I'm a friend's friend. That I am, I am always loyal to my friends. That's a Slytherin, and yeah, I brought Harry Potter, and it's like awkward. <laughs> I'm a Slytherin. You too. know what I mean? Yeah. Because listen, if I'm in the story, I look out for my friends. Yeah, I don't look out for what's um, right. What's right. Yeah, I fuck you. <laughs> and what's just? I don't care. I don't care. I look out for my own. My own kind. Okay, so don't fuck with my guys. Don't fuck with my guys, my girls. <laughs> and my guys are my, my girls. My days. Okay, but here's the thing. Everything seemed genuine. Like she really was like, oh, it's perfect. She does philanthropy. She'll be in the royal family. She'll do all her stuff. And then it, and then when they left, she still demanded to be called Duchess, even though she left the royal family. <laughs> also, you got- wants it all. I feel the same wants way. Wants it all. You want it all. You want it all. Girl. You want the house next to Ellen, and you still want Frogmore Cabin or and whatever And you want Frogmore called. Cottage? Oh, oh, you want to leave the royal family and you want Frogmore Cottage? What are you fucking insane? What are you fucking crazy? Are you, you clear, crazy? You clearly are, don't understand. Like, You can't keep the Frogworth Manor, okay? <laughs> that belongs to Charles. The bo- <laughs> Darling, Charles, who you hate, who you, who you slandered for probably real reasons, but you think you're going to shit on the king and his friends and his sons and then you're going to keep Frogmore Cottage? Are you f- off your rocker? Are you off your goddamn rocker? <laughs> but listen, love. 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 Okay. Listen off. What's what do they say? Bat or something? What do they? What's like the, the what? cute cutie word? They're like listen. Pop it. Tart. Ta- no, that would be so fucked. I've tart. said this before. But don't listen. <laughs> what a British person calls you a tart. That's they how you know it's bad. Mean it. <laughs> they mean it. <laughs> they mean it. <laughs> they really mean it. You know. You know what? Um, Cockney people call a pussy, right? A rat. Yeah, I've said uh, that before, but it's crazy. That's gross. Let me um, see your little rat love. Bat, but love. Um, rat. Gross. Yeah. Um, so I think I think she's a fucking delusional. Well, I think she is delusional and, and wants it all. I also I feel this way about Haley Bieber too, who's like always talking about bullying online. And log off. <laughs> <laughs> Get her ass. I'm sorry. Log off, bitch. Log off, bitch. Why Look, are you Selena reading? Gomez in it? Selena Gomez said, I don't run my own Instagram. I text my assistant fun TikToks I make, and then she posts them. Uh, don't read the comments. All Megan was like, oh, this is so horrible. The press, the press. Log off. Log off. You live in a mansion. Go water skiing. You're rich. Go to the moon. Do I'm, whatever I'm you want. Saying, Go see the Titanic. Titanic. You're rich. Titanic. You're rich. Come on, Megan. See the Titanic. <laughs> Come on, Megan. Get in a and go see the Titanic. You don't need to care about about what people online are saying, it's fake. It's all fake. They're all losers. You're a loser. Catch this. It's a world of losers. <laughs> it's not. It's a big stupid of all, losers. We all look stupid. We're all embarrassed. Being here hurts all the time. All the time. Okay. Wake up. Go to sleep. That's all you have control of. Okay? <laughs> That's all, bitch. And, I, what and really? you have a kid who's, two. Got, who's got red hair, which is so chill. You have a lot to deal with. <laughs> yeah, just a lot. Yeah, so. You know what really was like the nail in the coffin for me is that when they sued um, South Park. Yeah. Which we've talked about we, before. And the Atrocious. Old, it's atrocious. Well, I'm interested in the quotes. Spotify, in the Spotify yes. thing. Because uh, listen, I want the Spotify execs who are listening right now because I know they probably. They're listening because they're like, do we bring them on? Do we not? Well, they're like, well, this deal just fell through. We need, we we need, need another power couple. <laughs> <laughs> we need a royal power couple. We need couple. a royal power couple. 
thing. Yeah. It's called being the royals of the tri-state area. I've had my area. eyes on Zach and Gabby for quite <laughs> like someone in the back of the room smoking inside. <laughs> Zach and Gabby. <laughs> oh, I've had my eyes on them for quite a while. Name's Lizzie. Yeah, <laughs> it's Lizzie. <laughs> we're bringing her back. Um, Name's Lizzie. You know what, guys? We're we're gonna bring back Lizzie. We are. Um, <laughs> we okay. fired her, and now we're bringing her back. So this is some like th- okay. So we did a bunch of research, which we're obviously not really um, following. But there's two things that we want to touch on: yeah. is what the industry was saying about them, which I have quotes, and then oh. Spotify's um, uh, experience working with them, and what and the whole idea of the Spotify deal was that they were, it was, wasn't was supposed to be just Megan's podcast. They were supposed to release yeah, like a, multiple like podcasts. Like an empire. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, they released like three episodes of Megan's podcast or something. And she wasn't even there. So she, she wasn't, wasn't doing the interviews. She was That's having, crazy. She was having, going, as a podcaster, I'm offended. I'm offended. I'm offended. Oh, so you're coming into our field. You're coming into you're our, coming our house. field. So listen, bitch. She didn't even interview a bunch of people. She literally, this is why there's no clips. This is why I she, always was well, like, I why was her there doing no videos? Clips like this. I dare her to do clips. Put on a full face at 2 p.m. bitch and do clips. This is a formal invitation to La Podcast, Megan. To do If you want to save your reputation, and I want this to go viral. It's sorry. I want this to go viral. It'll <laughs> this start This is here. going viral. Megan, the one and only thing that will save your career and your reputation is if you do La Podcast. Do La Podcast. And honestly, we're going to be nice, obviously. You're invited. We're going to be chill. Harry, you have to bring him. <laughs> and bring Lilibet. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie will watch her. Lizzie, Lizzie will watch. Her. She knows how to handle kids because she's pregnant. Okay. So they were supposed to release multiple things. And then Harry was supposed to have his own podcast, but he couldn't figure out what to do. And these were his ideas. Oh my God, ready? the ideas. On Harry's end of the deal, he reportedly struggled to develop a podcast idea that led to an actual show. How? How? I'm sorry. Well, well, look what we're doing. Look what we're doing. Literally, you guys are so dumb. They could have just done this. And Start it record. Press record and just chat like we do. Literally, t- get drunk with the guys, buddy. That's whatever. Like, just do that. So insane. WSJ reported that some of his ideas range from interviewing military veterans to misinformation to his point of view on living in America. All good ideas, by the way. D- just do one. Others do them all on the celebrity. Harry show. Hey, yeah. Do the big, big Harry show. It's that like would the be Amanda so show. That so funny. Literally, all, see, that's these people. They have no are, sense of humor. They have humor. nothing. They have no sense of humor. They have humor. nothing. Okay, like, go on. So I'll finish this, and I have a point to make about their asses. Others included celebrity involvement, like co-hosting an unnamed show with comedian Hassan Minaj. That would have been awesome. According to Bloomberg, he was also interested in a podcast about fatherhood and major societal conversations. <laughs> yeah, okay. bitch, and no one wants to listen to that. With Pope Francis on as a potential guest to talk about religion. Wait, he's open for booking? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I didn't know, know he was like doing pods. <laughs> I, I don't, is there like a booking email for the Pope? <laughs> I feel like what? He's repped. <laughs> he's repped. <laughs> Who's his reps? Who's, Who's is his it re- CAA? It's always CAA. <laughs> it's always. However, the most random ideas that came from Harry were the reports that he wanted to interview guests like Vladimir Putin, Mark Zuckerberg, and Donald Trump on their childhood trauma to see how they became the people they are today. That's so good. I'm sorry. I don't know. I actually think that that would that is, that that is a humanizes idea. them. It's actually and bad. no. I think what the people would see because what it objectively is is these extremely like oh, Vladimir Putin evil done yeah. done evil shit. Big big evil. Um, Donald Trump, famous big asshole. Big asshole. Big fucking dick, right? Big asshole. He, him, Harry himself, being an extremely privileged rich guy from a family that murdered many, 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 many problems. So true. And Mark Zuckerberg, wormy. Not not a good interviewee. Also, Mark Zuckerberg. (laughs) Uh, Like... Is he real? Are we really still talking about him? Nah. So like, <laughs> so yeah. So just uh, that, that alone. So like, nobody wants to watch those guys. Well, here's yeah, the yeah. here's also another thing about what we learned about Megan and what we know about Harry is that he's a horrible public speaker. He has no, no riz. He has no charisma. He has at all. no. Neither of them have the riz. Well, that's what they said. One of the Spotify people, they were like, yes. she's not a great audio talent. And it's like, I don't... And they, okay, well, I'll read that too. That's so fucked up but to, for he, to someone say. There's no way we're going to finally get an interview on Spotify with Vladimir Putin and Harry's the one interviewing him. Hey, Oprah st- exists. Oprah exi- First off, like Harry, like Vladimir would scare, make you a shaking little you chihuahua shake your pants, you in loser. your boots. Yeah, like yeah. you cannot. Uh, you can barely... Harry Harry would literally bend him over the table and fuck him. Yeah. I mean, I'm um, Vlad. Vlad. Yeah, Vlad. Like, 
<laughs> I mean, Putin would literally Vlad, fuck oh Vlad. God. Well, we're friends. We're friends. V money. Um, okay. And then th- this is the part. What is the industry leader saying? They are dot 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 not being supportive to say the least. Okay, <laughs> I love the Whoever's shade in this article. This article is is literally having a blast. The CEO of UTA, which is a big agency, Jeremy Zimmer, called M- Markle untalented during Can. Damn. Ca- con during Con for during festival. Con. <laughs> During the, the festival, festival of <laughs> during the festival, he said, "No, no, during the festival, <laughs> during the festival." <laughs> Jeremy Zimmer, um, he said, "Turns out Meghan Markle was not a great audio talent, or necessarily any kind of talent." Oh, sorry, someone bitch. pitched suits. Someone pitched suits first and was like. All right. I'm sorry. Have you ever watched Suits? It's bad. She's bad in it. Listen, I want to be very clear to our listeners. Guys, acting, not that big of a deal. Hey, acting is easy. Anyone can do it on that. Okay. You know what's hard acting? Like Oscar movies. Okay. Big, big. Big, big movies, like character pieces. Like think about that scene in Call Me By Your Name where Timothy Chalamet is like crying into the fire and it's like really emotional. Think about all these killer movies. That's hard. Okay. (laughs) But being in a procedural fucking like sexy comedy about where like, you walk into an office and be like, I have your papers and I remember what happened this weekend. Cl- slam door. And you like kissing guys in hotels and then it like going to black and coming up and you have rustled hair in the morning and you're, you're like, where are you going? You're going to bomb that, Megan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bitch. Anyone could do that. I, you could pick any two people in the world at random AI. Yeah, I could AI. randomly pick two people, give them the scene. I bet it would be fine. Bella Thorne could do that better. I bet it would be fine. Ooh, so got her. Here's- do not worship people on TV because um, they just can um, read uh, bad dialogue. That they didn't write. Um, that they didn't write in Burbank. But California. here's the thing that Megan, when she first got into the royal family, was like, I'm done acting. You're not done acting. You haven't booked anything and you're not getting auditions because you're bad at it. Oh. Mm. Got you. And let me. Let I'm me, and, a and, and, you know what? That just, just. Um. Oh, can you get a roasted thing? Um. Roasted. 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 Light the fire. The gas. Megan, roasted. you are roasted. Hey, how about a little Sunday roast? roast <laughs> Watch Megan Markle get roasted. <laughs> fucking at the Superdome. Like <laughs> it's like. I just picture the bubble ball. Wait, I need to. I need to up finish. Say it. Thought. Say it. Before this fucking article guy steals my thunder anymore. Um, oh, but there is a second part of that. Then quote. say. Then finish it. Even. And you know, just because you're famous doesn't make you great at something. Mike. Da-da-da. What was his name? Zimmer boy. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying his name. Mike Drop. His name's Jeremy Zimmer. Get Jeremy. Z literally, money. Jeremy DM me. I'm uh, I'm horny from that Mike Drop. Um, first <laughs> off, guys, I need you to understand that they have nothing. <laughs> okay, this just almost like I'm like the celebrities of the '90s. They really knew what to do. Gwyneth because, Paltrow played us like a goddamn fiddle. Because this is it, guys. The whole celebrity thing was it's because they curate a cool image, okay? Because we didn't see them all the time. Now with fucking social media and everything, it's and cringy. Because you cringe. see her doing it, and it's just like, bitch, you don't even. You're not even entertaining. You're not even entertaining. If she had, if she had a lick of sardonic, she's not. She's not funny. Imagine not being funny. Gabby, you should have been the princess. I know. And I think it should have been me, but you can you can be second. I got pretty close. I know, but like when they would have loved a girl who's like, yeah, I don't care. No, they would have hated that. But um, no, but I would have done it right. I would have had fun. I think you. I would have been like, this is crazy. You could have rid the line very well. I'd be like, I get it. My my ancestors were on the Mayflower, you know, like. Yeah, I would just um, I would be. England would love me. You know who does royal so well? And did we're dead? She's dead now. Mm. Princess Margaret. Mm. Princess Margaret was was Elizabeth's Queen Elizabeth's sister. She was famously hotter, funnier, no, more talented, no, big party girl. Yeah. Through extravagant affairs and dinner parties, dated <laughs> extravagant affairs and dinner parties. She dated uh, famous actors, photographers. She was on gig. the cover of magazines all the time. She was h- apparently hilarious. Like, like ran the dinner table, you oh, know? Oh, fuck yeah. She was She it. was playing. See, and that was what we were looking for. You're going to bring an American from LA in? They're going to be fun. No. She doesn't have a personality that's so funny to me. I can't believe, like, imagine this old guy is Spotify. Sorry, don't, I don't know if you're old. I bet you're hot. 
I'm sorry. Um, Spotify. Hot? Let me look it up. Look him up. Who said that? Because he said they're fucking grifters. Fuck you. He, he literally said. What do you want to said, do to make an old older man say? Fuck you. Bill Simmons called the couple grifters on his podcast. Oh, he has his own podcast. That's awesome. Criticizing their involvement right with the there. platform. Fuck yeah. He said, the fucking grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. I have got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry trying to help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best fucking stories. Fuck them. See, and then he said, fuck them. Fuck them. That is awesome. Okay, first off, me and Gabby right now, literally take note, fucking Megan. Listen, we could come up with 1,100 super better ideas than that, okay? Literally. Is Bill Simmons hot? Oh, yeah, Gabby's still in the mix. Um, Let's see, we don't have a producer no. today. No. No, I'm. I'm gonna type in Bill Simmons. He's not a safe perfect. For work. He's a perfect. A perfect example of a guy who, because of his job, is hot. <laughs> but he was. I bet he was hot when he was young. But he Ooh, is a CEO. No. Um, oh uh, no! Not really, but he's probably fun. He's probably fun. He's a I'll face date, for I'll radio. I'll date you. I'll date you because uh, you're the Spotify. Hey, life. I'll date anyone, <laughs> but I will date you. Here's let's let's um. We can riff some, yeah, some like riff. ideas like. It is so easy if you have a lick of fun in your bones. She's no fun. If you have a, a one funny bone in that goddamn body, bitch. None. Okay. You Her could ankles come up are with too a, thin. You could tell she has no bones. You could come up with a better idea. Bing, bang, boom. Harry, Go. he is getting drunker progressively, taking shots, and he has to answer questions about royal life from a comedian. Yes. Instantly, that's better. Instantly, I made drinking game. The a royal drinking game. drinking game. Bam, that's a boom. podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Harry gets to interview other royals all around the world who never talk and never do anything about what it's like. It's it's and it's called the Prince of Files. Oh Bam. my God, that was so, the Prince of Files. <laughs> <laughs> the Prince of Files. The Prince. Of, that is so. Let's get all the other royalty. Let's yeah, yeah. see. Let's see the princes and like the vibes. And, and what the drama. do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Um, here's so you want to go educational because you have no personality and you. It's like talking to a robot. Okay, maybe that's what it's like talking to you. You, I hate you. <laughs> 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 But maybe do an educational about your family tree. There's a bunch of people who want to listen to that shit. Oh, yeah. The royal history. Kind of like the documentary you did. Remember that? Yeah. Hey, the royal you, history. Maybe do that the whole time. Royals on royals. Megan, you should be doing shit. Nothing, actually. I'm trying to think. Her know, personality. She no she's thing. too. She could be like. Uh, um, fun facts about every culture in the world. Because, you know, she's been to different cultures. Oh, God, but she doesn't have any riz. Like, it wouldn't work. I know the gall that she went on Oprah, saw what Oprah did by interviewing celebrities, and said, I could do that, and then failed miserably. Immediately did, recorded three all. episodes or she whatever. She just tried to be Oprah. Oprah's Oprah. Oprah's Oprah. There's no other Oprah. Not even Gail is Oprah. Yeah. You're going to try to be Oprah? What are you, fucking stupid? I'm just like, it's um the fall from grace. Where does this leave this 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 couple in, well, they're in just the zeitgeist? Well, they're just rich. Oh, now they're just rich they people. They also have seven running uh, open and closed lawsuits. Seven right now. Seven. I'm trying to think. Like, maybe they are. They have enough money to just live forever. Also, with their, they have a... They had an open Spotify. These fuckers. These fuck. We get they it to really, us. they really are grifters. They had an open deal with Spotify, a we development are deal. Them down and they episode. also, I know, and they also had a development deal with Netflix that's still happening. And nothing else has oh, come out. Oh, I read that they they have to deliver it again. It has to be a hit. Otherwise, they won't get paid. Yeah. Girl. And what else are they going to do? Girl, it's okay. I, I've learned from this entire story that they could still come out on top. You know what I mean? Yeah, they so might still have one. So do not write them off. Like they can, trick up their sleeve. They might be able to pull it off. And I want to be very clear. I, this doesn't mean I'm a pro-royal family. I'm not siding with them. No. Unless all our fans side with them, and then I'm definitely I'm and on them. I'm, their whatever side. side is the loudest, um, <laughs> I'm on your side. The only uh, royal I care about is the Prince of Sweden and his wife, and they're both hot. That's the only royals I care about. And you want to know why? Because he's really, really hot, and he married a waitress. She's a waitress. That's sick. And she has tattoos. Literally. I know. You. I know. Oh my god. She has tattoos, and she's like a hot little thing. Yo, oh, then she's right. A waitress. Or write that screenplay. W waiting on, waiting on royalty. <laughs> yeah, like oh, nailed it right, <laughs> nailed it right off the bat. Waiting on royalty. Bam, that's it. Write it to the presses. It. I could, I could 
get get me at Hallmark. I would Signed, be like sealed, delivered. I would be like at Hallmark on my first day, and I would be ricocheting. So there's like all these interns. By the end of the day, there's all these interns, and they're like, "We don't have any more notepads." Like I'm just like, I gotta keep going. <laughs> they're handwriting everything. <laughs> they're like. <laughs> Some are typing like they're trying to do two at once. I'm like, the ideas are You're just walking around. You have a pen like this. You know when writers always have a pen, they're kind of literally finger blasting. I'm working on like 100 different <laughs> projects. I'm like, I'm like, horse is actually her sister. Her sister's <laughs> mom is actually a cousin of of the barber, and that saves the day at the end. The mall loses, and then they don't they they don't build the mall, and they actually get to keep the the forest the trees, reserve. And the, the trees stay. Reserve. The trees trees stay. Horse wins the race. Guy <laughs> finds the girl. Fair Fairies rejoice. Fairies rejoice. <laughs> Brown hair becomes blonde. Girl sister dies. Becomes girl sister's angels protecting angel. Hot when she takes off her glasses. <laughs> twin sisters. One twin sister dies. Okay. She becomes the guardian angel of the other sister. Okay. Because there's two twin sisters, and one was always really lucky, and one was always unlucky. Yeah. And that was like a thing. And then the girl, the lucky one, dies. Everyone's like, oh my God. lucky one. Then the unlucky one is like, I'm so unlucky that I'm, I'm so unlucky that I made my lucky sister die. That it's real fucked up. Fuck and yeah. then, You're on to it. And then Here you go. It, we heaven. Heaven is just a bunch of really sexy um angel ladies you know what i mean they send back the hot lucky girl back to earth as her guardian angel mm-hmm. okay but as the guardian angel she is trying to um get her the guy yeah get her the guy okay D- deep thick magical forest the squirrels speak um there is obviously some sort of like uh evil corporate man mm. trying to you know Level uh, and- level <laughs> the forest for condos and co-ops. Mm. Um, and the squirrels band together. They fill all of the trees with acorns. And then they figure out how to shoot the acorns out of the... Um, the owl holes in the trees. They destroy the neighboring city. Oh my God. Uh, it's... 9-11-esque, I would say. Buildings are falling. Um, people are dying. And the squirrels win. This is on Hallmark. <laughs> this is Hallmark. Hallmark. So regular viewers are like, whoa, what the hell was that CGI <laughs> movie? about It's those? PG-12. <laughs> and it's an interstitial. So it goes on in between other Hallmark <laughs> movies forever. <laughs> it's an ongoing war between squirrels versus humans. Okay. One more Hallmark movie. Go. Wishing well, wishing you well is what the name of the title of the movie. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> you you know the entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a wishing well. There's of course a wishing well. One There's guy. a girl. A wishing well. A guy. <laughs> they both make a wish. It's to find love. They turn around. They and you realize that the wishing well is on two opposite sides of the world. And then, but because one of them is in China and one of them is in North America, oh, it's like that. The coin goes all the way down and then out pops the side up, of the well. Pops up. in China. I wish she I grabs could find coin. a girl. I wish I could find a guy. <gasps> Split screen. Coin flips. They go, and the in, coin hits her, them ow. each in the head. Ow! And he has what? like a Chinese coin, and she has he has yeah she yes. has the like American coin. And, and then like, they start writing each other notes. They're pen pals. They go through the but well. But she's from the past, and he's from the future. Oh, no, 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 oh. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> because they have to meet each other. Oh, they could still do that. But he, she's really old at the end of the movie. Oh, and that, shit. Isn't that fucked up? Yeah. Like they finally meet each other, but then you realize at the very end that it, they've been through time. No, I have it. I and have then it. she has a sexy daughter. Ooh. Cha-ching! <laughs> yeah. But you know how she eventually dies is she tries to jump through the well to get to China, mm-hmm. and then it ages you, and then you're 100 on the other end. Oh, that's like fucked up. I know. My, maybe I shouldn't work for Hallmark. <laughs> I work for like if hot topic at it. Yeah, network. you should work for like Spike TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in Spike TV. Like she you gets old and they never job. have love, but they still do anal. She- <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what it's like. Print that. Um, a commercial. A bunch of squirrels. It's talking about over. <laughs> You're repr- loving the squirrel bit. <laughs> I was just retelling the squirrel bit. Okay, we have to go. Oh, we have to go? Yeah. Oh, this was a crazy little episode. Le- this was a crazy fun little episode. We actually did facts, which is good of us. I thought we were actually extremely good. I know. Let's see if we have a surrogate of the week. We do. I saw the message. It's actually really sweet. <gasps> oh, my God. We have a surrogate of the week. Ow. And their name's Jamie Lynn. I hope Spears. Jamie Lynn. Jamie Lynn. Jamie Lynn. Jamie Lynn. Just kidding. J- uh, she's on our shit list. Jamie Lynn Spears. But this is Jamie Lynn. This Jamie Lynn is on our good girl list. On our good girl. Good girl uh, sweetie list. She sent list. us a very sweet 
sweet DM on Insta. How am I now just finding this page? <gasps> Seriously, your all energy together is like nothing I've experienced before. You both are so gifted with humor, witty banter, and so much enthusiasm that when it catches me, I am instantly uplifted in my spirit. <laughs> Love you both so much. And I'm sharing your content. Love, Jamie Lynn. Jamie Lynn! Jamie Lynn! Jamie Lynn. <laughs> Jamie Lynn. You know who uplifts my spirit? You. You. <laughs> you. You. You want to know who my spirit? You. You. You want to know who bra- who wakes me up, wakes me down? You. you. Jamie you, Lynn. You want to know who cleans me up, gets me out there? It's a hard job. It's a hard working job, but you get me there. All you American wake, work. You wake me up and you put me to sleep, girl. Sweet Jamie dreams, Lynn. Jamie Lynn. Jamie love Lynn, we you. love you. Jamie, I can consider you really cool i, I would consider tell- you cool and about town I w- any- and talented anyone who has like a something lynn or something and it's awesome is is electric it's fucking awesome never change <laughs> be you hags, hags. have a great and summer lilas <laughs> um i hope you're a good mother to our girl you know what? I think with these surrogates, we're just like gifting them kids. Like we <laughs> don't raise them, you know? So have we a great a time. Kids. We have like 55 That'd kids be right so now. Chill. <laughs> yeah. Well, that will be, that'll be our merch. Like it'll be like, if you scroll through, it's like, it's like a cool little hat, a tote bag, an IVF syringe. <laughs> and like, like, like we'll have yeah. a boy one and a girl one. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. That's awesome. We're um, doing it. We love it. you. Guys, don't forget to rate, review, subscribe. Follow us on YouTube. We do full free video episodes on YouTube now. Guys, we Get love on over YouTube. there. We love YouTube. If you want to see our looks, um, you know, we're always in a little love. We're in a, I think it's a huge part. We're showing it's body. F- we're showing body. I'm we showing do. a hole on this podcast and we're I'm waiting for you to use... We also do act out, so like if you want to see what that l- even looks like, go on the YouTube. I mean, listen to Jamie Lynn. We're get we're gifted with humor <laughs> <laughs> and and great enthusiasm. Um, and don't forget to follow us on Spotify. Wait, wait. Wings. I know, um, but I have to say this part. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. <laughs> no, I'm mad at you. Um, don't forget to follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Leave a review. Go on our Patreon, patreon.com slash podcast podcast to get involved with the uh, girl you, the girl uh, cinematic universe, the girl see Literally CU. hit us up on Instagram, La podcast podcast on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, on everything that could be considered a social media app. And we also have like a fun fan page on Twitter um, that someone does. It's like called like Out of Look, Context. Out of Context, the podcast. podcast. And they do quotes that we say. And it's, I love, that's my favorite thing. That's my favorite thing we've done. I like love, I we honestly, haven't done it. That Some, one my, of our fans did it, but I love it. My favorite Ben. Ben? Ben, love shout ben. out. Is that Ben? I think so. I don't think Ben runs that. Well, hey, Ben. That's just but hey, Ben. Yeah, hey, we have a fan. His name is Ben. And we love you, baby. I don't um, think it's Ben. I think it's someone else. But, um. I'm forgetting their name. Gabby. Yeah. I love you. I love you. And spread your back. It's getting winged. Cool. Okay. Girl, first off, have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? No. And did it blind you with gold and light? Because you're no. so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Bummed. <laughs> Have you been blinded by the golden light of your own appearance and in a mirror, baby? Because you no. look so good. Okay, Gabby, you yeah. look like if Persephone, the goddess of, of of hell, the queen of hell, goddess of spring. Yes. You're not. You're no. No. Keep talking. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find who does the Twitter. Okay, you have to understand, guys. I'm complimenting her like on blast, and she is dead in her phone looking at something. It just doesn't feel good. <laughs> it's for us. Keep talking. Keep giving me wings. I'm listening. Um, no. <laughs> uh, uh, you're really cool and a great girl. Zach. <laughs> Moore. Zach Moore. I think his name's Johnny. Why is he not in our Instagram? <laughs> I feel bad not shouting him out. The podcast. Out of, out of podcast, the podcast. Out of context, the podcast. Yes. Hey, we're going to find it next week. You'll get 15 minutes. You'll get 15 I minutes. I like DM you sometimes, so we, we have fun. Um, sorry, go. I'm going to start over with a whole new idea. Okay. Gabby. Yeah. First off, yep. nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> the my, way- my voice. <laughs> nails on a chalkboard, your voice. You know the way that sounds? Yeah. That couldn't be farther <laughs> from the way your voice sounds. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you look so good (laughs) (laughs) thanks body hair face snatch body hair (laughs) body hair face body they're always commas 
Yeah. Snatched as hell. You look like the queen of Tennessee, bitch, <laughs> in this outfit. You look <laughs> like the queen <laughs> the of Tennessee. Tennessee. If every state became its own kingdom, you would be the queen of Tennessee. That's awesome. Or like maybe New Jersey and you marry the king. It's That's a cool thing to talk about later. That's you, a really good idea what you just brought up. Yeah, like if they're all kingdoms and then there's each had a prince, I could be like the prince of Connecticut. Yeah. I would. I would. I'm the princess of New Jersey. Already am. You already are. Gabby, I if if um you're wrong, I don't want to be right. Uh if I can't wait for the day where you publicly are decried <laughs> as toxic or or out of touch <laughs> or something. And I Hell will yeah. get on a podium anywhere, anyhow, <laughs> and I'll tell those people to suck an egg. I'll literally be like So yeah, she's out of touch. <laughs> yeah. Suck an egg. Suck an egg, man. Do <laughs> like shit. Okay. Someone that hot can be out of touch. There's one thing I know about Gabby is, yeah, she's out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But you can suck on it. That'd be a funny, like, birthday party theme, being out of touch. <laughs> can I go? May you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grandma being like, it's actually may you, please. Zach, you don't stop. You don't stop. You'll forever keep going with your body, with your personality, with your hair, with your face, with your energy, mm. with your um, jubilance. Jubilee? Jubilee. <laughs> <laughs> with your that zest for life, you. You have a zest for life. You bring out the child and me in a good and bad way. Mm. Mostly good, a little bit bad, which makes a fun friendship. Which is really fun. If your friends aren't a little toxic for you, you get new friends. Literally, get, who are you? What are you, friends with saints? <laughs> what are you, friends with a bunch of church, church what, boys? What, St. Pete? What, St. Peter? Your best pal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not meant to be able to be with me. Don't touch me. I'm going to be. Okay, we gotta move on. I'm gonna pee. I'm clenching. <laughs> what? St. Peter's. <laughs> Your best pal. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zach's my best friend, okay? And if yeah. you haven't realized that by now, you're fucking stupid. You're stupid and dumb. Dumb. If you don't understand that Zach's my best friend. Period. End of sentence. End of wings. End of episode. End, end of episode. And Lizzie, we miss you so much. Lizzie, we and miss you. And don't forget to bleep that one part. And bleep okay. that one part. Sorry about that. I love you. It's fun for us. It's not fun for anyone else. That's behind the paywall. And guys, we're jumping over to the Patreon extra <laughs> <laughs> to, to do uh, jacuzzi work, which is girl uh, cinematic universe. See Goodbye. you over there.